सो ही वॉट्स अब एंड वेलकम बैक अगेन सो दिस इज नॉट अ फुल टूटोरियल बट वेट 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 दिस इज अ प्रोजेक्ट ओवर व्यू सो रिसेंटली आई मेड अ बाथरूम सीन इंस्पायर्ड बाई अ वीडियो फ्रॉम क्विक सेल एंड आई ट्राई टू मेक देम एज मच रियलिस्टिक एज आई कैन इन साइड एलमेन थ्रेडी सो हियर यू कैन सी a picture with rtx of you you know this time are trending some pictures and video and games with rtx on and off so this is my own version of rtx of and on so i will come to the point of rtx on but let me tell you something more about the project so this is my just a personal project which i got a uh, Uh, idea when i was watching a re recent video from quickshell and i try to make them inside elmen 3d and i try to achieve a realistic look inside elmen 3d so this is uh, the result so this is with rtx off and this is with rtx on so you can see RTX off and RTX on. RTX off and RTX on. RTX off and RTX on. So I will show you all of the techniques how you can achieve in your project inside Element 3D. So I always try to push Element 3D boundaries to the next level. Uh, whatever I can do, and here is the final result, and you can customize it according your scene. So let me jump. over inside element 3d and let me show you how you can do achieve this types of realism inside your scene uh one more thing if you are new here i will consider subscribe this channel because you will get a lot of element 3d related stuff here and i hope you can uh, enjoy this channel and i'm so sorry because i am not able to make a lot of tutorials like before because i have few situations and i have to handle them it's important for me but don't worry when i will get time i will definitely make a awesome tutorial so this is just one awesome tutorial and more coming in the way so we will also achieve this look this volumetric lighting look this diffusion look and without any noise so let's get started so if you uh, are new to elmen 3d i will consider you you can just check my all elmen 3d tutorial and you will good to go and by by the way i created this wall floor and this mirror and few things inside elmen 3d built a sketch uh you know it's mean a primitives and few of this toilet and this uh, some dustbin in this gate model i downloaded from sketch fab you can go there and you can download it so uh first create a new solid layer and apply element 3d effect on here right and then just go scene setup let me tell you tell you one by one so in element 3d this is the bathroom scene which i created and let me show you from all over so let me first show you then i will try to show you one by one so this is the scene and this is the frame and this area i just left for the lighting some blue light will come from here and i orange a uh, uh, orange light here and let me come over here and let start building the seal let me add the grid so here you can see a uh, simple i just created a simple box object and i try to rescale them just like this one let me show so here you can see a uh, box and i just press r and just rescale and try to make like this wall and i also added a second box and try to make them as a border type and apply a different uh, material for this one and different for the dish one and i change the uv 
according to that like this one this is the my main gallery so you can check the uv i change it to the box and i repeat the tiling and this texture from procedure and i just prepare a normal simple bathroom like this so you can see i just prepared the scene like this then i apply some floor a uh, single floor and i also make them reflected so you can go here and just this is by default and you can change it to the mirror surface like this one and then then i just try to add a ceiling and i try to add the bathroom uh, this is a marble bathroom sink and i also textured it with pro shaders and then i apply some bathroom props it's also downloaded from sketchfab and it's free and i also added a realistic toilet with seat and this is a mirror and one more thing is sticker and the final piece is gate so this is just a basic scene so if you know little bit of element 3d you can do it and you can arrange it and if you don't know uh, obviously you can check my tutorials and be sure to subscribe the channel and if you love this tutorial i will request you to share it or like it so it's motivate me to make a lot of tutorial <laughs> it's a fun anyways so hit okay so now you can see we are inside after effects and now let me tweak tweak let me start tweaking this so let me change the camera angle to the custom view so like if i change it to the custom view and i just try to add a spotlight and let me show you this is the orange one and this is the blue one intensity 400 and cone angle like this so let me switch on so you can see it's looking this looking like this and by default diffusion is zero so let me go with the zero and also enable this one let's go to the custom view too so you can see this one and on and off off and on go to the active camera now lighting is done and you know and i know you are thinking about where is the rtx <clears throat> let me show you some of the more thing so first we will go to the ambient occlusion and we will enable it by default it's s s a n s s a o i will suggest you to go with the ray trace and just enable it and this is the my settings if you want you can just follow with this then i will go to the shadow and by default it's shadow mapping let me switch and let me show you so this is by default and if i go to the spotlight this one and if i increase the diffusion diffusion is basically uh, you are casting a diffuse shadow not a harder shadow in this case in the blue light let me rename it to the blue light and this one is the orange light so you can see the diffuse light shadow is diffu with diffusion but in this one there there is a hard shadow so let me switch to the 145 which is the default version and this looks good but if you you will switch to the uh, ray trace it's 
it will look so ugly but don't worry don't worry i will fix it give me a chance uh, so i just increase the side of samples to something around 4 and the diff said multi sampling is to the 4 and now it's more better than the normal with a ray trace normal with ray trace now you got the idea but i know you are thinking about where is the fog which comes with light so basically i just enable a fog inside render setting and this is my settings and then i just uh, make a duplicate of element ready and try to add some fog here also like this and then you can go to the output and you can just bump these samples like 16 and 4 to make it more good and uh, by default here is a physical element set 1 to 1 like this and it's something around 35 but what I did I change it to something around 60 and change it to the 2 and this is by default 1 and if you want you can just add a uh, ambient light so it's just a uh, two percent of opacity so just just a little bit fill the area but if you don't want you can just leave it and done everything is done and you know with alma 3d everything is so easy so here is i did some of basic color collection so i just add a course effect and i just add a hue and saturation to change the blue to something around teen and orange and teen color look and change it to full resolution so now you can see and for these things you can increase a uh, sampling shadow sampling like my original i used 12 and now you can see it's gone so this is it guys and i know i hope you like the tutorial show you how you can easily achieve these types of realism inside element 3d some of the best tutorial uh, available on our channel which is related to realistic rendering inside element 3d and i think uh, it look good let me know your opinion what you think about this project and Tag me on Instagram whenever you make any work related element 3D or something, anything, uh, just tag me. And for those who, so if you are uh, uh, not following me on Instagram, I will suggest follow me there because a uh, few of the things I did not, uh, a lot of things I did not upload on uh, YouTube because I just try to, uh, I always experiment and I just post them on Instagram so I will suggest you to just follow me on Instagram so you never miss any experiment so here are a few of them just like this one you can see I did not upload it on YouTube and also this one is really cool everything done inside Elman 3D I did not use any other 3D program I just use Elman 3D and this one mode is here Alright, so let me know what you think about uh, my Instagram page, my YouTube page and if you have any problem, you can just leave a message anytime I will be there for you and I will try to solve your problem as soon as possible. So this is it for now.
and you know thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me thanks for supporting me i am mtsd and we will see you next time with a great tutorial